Just a couple of miles from the Capitol building at beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Stay tuned for Nationals Baseball next. Vance Worley, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, H? Well, I look at his stat line, Matt. I look at his whip, and it's just above league average, and that tells me he struggles just a little bit this year. If he can keep runners off the base pass and not pile up a lot more than maybe the one or a little bit above an inning, then he's got a chance to win. So keeping the traffic limited is the key to his success in this game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. HR, these Nationals, as they take the field here today, they have certainly had it going lately, winners of eight in a row. Hey, Matt, when you're playing good ball, you don't care who's on the mound. Oh, that's their ace? Bring it, ace. Come on, bring it to us. Because you're playing as good as you are right now. The confidence is flowing, and the trash talk is going. Ready with another 2-2. This one's flared toward left center. Drew will take care of this one, and Reyes is retired to open up the ball game. Exactly and now a chance to exactly. meet the Mets. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Joanna Cespedes, can keep it going. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last ten games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Hey. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. One and two. Line to the right side. Harper is right there as he takes it for the second out. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Striding into the box, Yoenis Cespedes. He's definitely a long ball threat, currently third in the National League in that category. A runner on first with two away. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. 
Noah Sindergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. In now is Adam Eaton, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. Ready on one and two. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Now a flare out toward right center. Cabrera ranging into the outfield. One out. And a look now at the hometown Nationals starting lineup. What do you think they need to do to keep this winning streak rolling, Harold? Matt, this lineup has been on fire. Everybody's hitting from top to bottom. I don't know how you get them out right now. If you roll the ball up there, they'll probably golf it out of the ballpark. They've been that hot. In now is Anthony Rendon. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. One out, nobody on. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this Batting point third. in the season. It's pretty Second hard to argue one. against it when you watch Daniel. him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Here's Daniel Murphy now as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Now ball line foul up and over the Nationals dugout. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Again he sends it out of play. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate so we'll do it again still three and two. Something has to give here's the payoff pitch. Neither guy giving in here and they'll do it again. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. We are still scoreless. Digging in, David Wright. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. One and one, here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Nationals. And in the outfield, Bryce Harper, you know, when he first broke into the league when he was 19, 20 years old, he was running around like a crazy man all over the place, like a little jackrabbit. <laughs> Out of control. He's calmed it down now, and he's really become a nice outfielder. Now batting, T.J. Rivera, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Go it down, you'll get the strike. In there, and it's even now, 2-2. Two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. On the move is Harper, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. 
never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Line drive to left. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Throw into second. Throw won't get him. Well, unfortunately, being close isn't quite good Nine, enough seven. most of the time. Love the effort in Bradley. the outfield, and he Darn was on. close to making that play, but instead it's a double. That's a risky play, though. Could have been a lot worse than a double. In now, Travis Darno. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Looking up is worth. It's a two run shot to straight away left seven home runs for him on the year now as the Mets are out in front now two to nothing. Well that's why you hear people say work down in the zone. This is such a difficult pitch to hit but if the balls up a little bit to these great hitters they touch it it's going out of the ballpark right there is a prime example. Into the box now. Juan Ligares. Outside, two and one. Head to head history with Vance Worley. He's two for four. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. The pitcher, Noah Sindergaard, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down to Drew for one. On to Lind, it's a double play, and the inning is over. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 2-0 New York. Here's Bryce Harper now. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And another foul ball. Again a one two. Another one sent foul. Here's another one two. Hard hit at third and just past his outstretched glove into left the base hit. Well a lead off single right here in the second inning. This is a good sign. Maybe this is how they get right back in the game being already down a couple runs early. Adam Lynn. Here's Adam Lind looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Dorno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's Jason Worth. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Runners on first with one down. 
That one's in there, three and one. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Matt, I was on a number of losing teams, and this is the game you look for. We got the ace going, finally. It's the day we're going to win a game. And when he throws, and you know you're struggling, you got to win that game for him. Conforto is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Two out with the man at first. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Set to deal on two and two down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Another try at two two. Another foul ball and this battle will continue. Another 2-2 offering on the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Nationals leave one. They trail things here two to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Jose Reyes 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 3 2 one more time. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The batter number 13. And as you see there, September right around the corner. There's our upcoming schedule as we get ready for the final month of the season. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Slider up that he gets a call on. Bases are empty. One man out. Hard hit ball to second. Gloved by Murphy. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. The right fielder number 30. Digging in for his second at bat, Michael Conforto reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Three and one, here it is. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. One and two, here it comes. Now a cutter down around his shoe tops as he hops out of the way. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience and it's full three and two. Well this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Stephen Drew set to start things out when we return. It's the Mets two, and the Nationals nothing. Digging in, Stephen Drew. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. 
And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. The 2 2 one more time. This is in the air for Cespit is in left. One down. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. At the plate, Vance Worley, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. In time to first, and there are two away. Ready for another chance. Adam Eaton. It was a fly out for him to start the home first. Here's the one and one delivery. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mets, too, and the Nationals, nothing. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. And there's one he'd like to have over again, missed high with the slider. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Now and that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. One out, nobody on. And a fastball just a bit high. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw gets him two down. Now it. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Two and two count. Here it comes. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Down in order go the Mets, but they hold a two nothing lead. Stepping up to the plate, Anthony Rendon. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And this is swung on and missed and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count one and two you're probably expecting some sort of off speed pitches but when the pitcher offers up a good hard fastball it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Into the box Daniel Murphy checks his swing here but he does so in time. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Here's Bryce Harper now. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. 
No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Mets two and the Nationals nothing. Sammy Solis is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Here's Juan Lagares. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So the leadoff hitter is aboard. Pitcher due up looks to be a textbook it? sacrifice well, situation. No, uh, well, that base hit right there extends the streak to 10 games. When you start getting hits over 10 games, you've been pretty consistent over the last two series you've been playing. Really good ball right now. Stepping in now, Noah Syndergaard. And he misses the bunt attempt, so it's a ball and two strikes now. Well, you got to get the bunt down right here, but that just was not very good form right there. It didn't look like he was going to get that down, even if he made contact. Now a bunt attempt here. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at-bat, but then went back-to-back -back once he had the hitter down in the count. In now, Jose Reyes. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into shallow right field. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. Now batting. Second Digging in once again as Dribble Cabrera. Cabrera. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Ready with the one and one. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But, man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Mets leave one. They're up two to nothing. Here's Adam Lind. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. And he got him. There's our line score through the first four and a half. And these guys have basically had the bats taken right out of their hands. Just one hit to this point. Here's Jason Ward. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Sliced hard on the ground. Rivera picks it up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Hit sharply on the ground. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. 
Seven games. Hey, that's one week of swing back pretty good. He's comfortable right now. Steven Drew. At the plate, Steven Drew. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the one and two delivery. Lays off two and two now. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Blake Trennan takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 45, Blake Trennan. Ready once again, Michael Conforto. A couple of walks for him thus far. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Eaton is there, and he has it for the first out. The left fielder, number 52. Here's Joanna Cespedes. Oh, for two on the afternoon so far. Two and one now to Cespedes. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. And that one right down Main Street. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Cespedes takes ball four there, and he'll head down to first. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Two runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. This one's down to third. One there. On to Lind. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Trey Turner is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Trey Turner. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Three and one. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for. Three and two now. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Well, this has been a completely different performance from the offense that we saw yesterday. They were looking like the 27 Yankees 24 hours ago, but they've been held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Ready for another chance? Anthony Rendon. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Off a of one leg in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Back here at Nationals Park getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. 
Trevor Guy is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 26, Trevor Guy. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. One for two with a double on his line thus far. The pitch. One and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Now batting. Travis Garneau will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game on one swing of the bat as this was the swing right here. Three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he misses two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. This is in the air now for the left fielder, Ward. And that's out number two. The center fielder number 12. Digging Juan in and looking Ligaris. for more. Juan Ligaris. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. The two and one on its way. A dangerous changeup left high but called for a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here's a ball skied in the air near the line, back behind first, and Lind will make the catch, and the side Ladies is retired. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning, seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Mets lead this one two to nothing. Here's Daniel Murphy now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. One one on its way to Murphy. Now a ball rolled softly to second. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seven. Right fielder number 34. Ready for another Bryce shot now. Bryce Harper. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a good swing by Harper but this will drift foul off to the right and out of play. The one and two pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. And it's late to his afternoon of work and the longer this at bat goes the better chance of him making a mistake but as a guy starts to tire they're more likely to leave the ball up but man he's been good so far. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Bryce Harper becomes out number two this inning. Into the box now, Adam Lind. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Swing and a looper to left. And this was sinking on him at the end, but he's able to hang with it, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Mets are out on top. Two to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Noah Syndergaard. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Fastball called strike. One and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. Two nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. Here's the shortstop now Jose Reyes. He's 0 for 3 so far so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. 
Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Oh, and he's going to get rung up on a curveball, and that looked like a questionable strike at best, two away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Standing in now as Dribble Cabrera. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top two to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jason Worth. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp. And it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. That's on the corner to put him behind now, one and two. On his way to pitch number 100. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Stepping in now, Matt Wieters. And he'll turn and try the jump throw to first. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Shortstop. Here's the shortstop now, Stephen Drew. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Two out, nobody on. This now is hit the second. Does he have another one, two, three inning? Oh, he might not. This ball's kicked out there. That's a nice controlled two strike approach. You cut your swing down, and all you want to do is see the ball and hit it. Ryan Zimmerman will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Well, now here comes the Mets manager Terry Collins on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard but he cannot lose this one. A.J. Ramos takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Down low, two balls and a strike. Head to head against A.J. Ramos. Just three for 14. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. On, he pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. And Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. One left for Washington. They're down two to nothing. Joe Nathan enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Digging in, Michael Conforto. A couple of walks for him thus far. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. Takes a curveball right on the corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. This is hit the other way out toward left field. There to gather it in is worth for the first out of the inning. The left fielder number 52. Here's you under Cespedes. Cespedes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. One out, nobody on. Wait. 
Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. The third baseman, number Here's five. the third baseman, David Wright. Right. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. In now, T.J. Rivera. Good hard slider at 88. It's one and two now. A runner on first with two away. Liner towards second. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Mets strand one, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. In now is Adam Eaton. And then what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Cespedes is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping uh, for. One away. Anthony In now is Anthony Rendon head to head against A.J. Ramos. He's gone two for eight. Bases are empty one man out. And this ball runs away for ball two two and one. And he'll stay alive here but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate and the count holds it two and two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box now. Daniel Murphy. Right side. Hit hard. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, Matt, that was a huge at bat. He gets the single right here. There's two out in the ninth, right and it brings the time run to the plate. All right, Pepper. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Two out with the man at first. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes, ranging back, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here played their game and put the losing streak behind it like professionals are supposed to do well done a two nothing finish today New York claimed the victory despite being held to only three hits Noah Syndergaard wins for a league high 19th time this year striking out 12 in the process Vance Worley was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss AJ Ramos gets a four out save his 29th of the year so that's it for us this afternoon for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more log the on to the show nation dot com for the victorious New York Mets two runs on three hits no errors high fly ball well tagged this time and junior going back to the track the wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my. Perfect timing and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 to Charlie.